guys thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on makeup uh body care hair care a little bit of lifestyle things that i have used up it's basically an empties video so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so get a snack get a drink uh, get in your favorite spot. If you don't have time to watch me now, put me in a playlist and come back and watch me later. That's fine too. I will have timestamps below with every little section like makeup, um, hair care, or any type of body care or things like that. So you can skip to whatever it is that you want to watch. So I'm also going to talk about if I would purchase the product again, would I recommend it? You all know the drill. You all have seen hundreds of these. So with all that being said, Let's get into the video. All right, so the first one I wanna talk about is this foot cream. I actually picked this up um, well over a year ago from Beautylish, and this is the Susan Kaufman Warming Foot Cream. I really did enjoy this cream. I do have to say for it to be as pricey as it is, the packaging uh, really is subpar. It just kind of looks like a sticker on here, but it is in a glass jar and it does feel substantial. But as far as the ability to um, warm your feet, um, I really didn't get any of that. And the reason that they are calling it a foot cream is because it has an antiseptic herbal extract in it. And when you smell it, it smells like uh, menthol it's very 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 strong um, I didn't use this on my body the the smell is just overwhelming but the overall purpose of this cream is to just kind of keep your feet healthy and if you have cold feet to actually help keep them warm and my feet are notoriously cold in the summer winter however I have to have on some socks I cannot I cannot go around my house without any socks on. And then, you know, when I walk outside of my bedroom, I have to have those little isoternal, isoternal, I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but the little slippers on, I have to have those on. But anyway, would I repurchase this? I definitely would if it goes on sale, but I think this comes in at $62 or $52. This is really, uh, this is really expensive, but you only need a little, you know, a little goes a long way. And overall, I enjoyed using this. All right, so the next one is a body cream and this is by Rituals of Sakura. And I really love these. You can get these at Sephora. You can get them at Macy's. It's got lots of good ingredients in it, like antioxidants, vitamin E. It's also got Centella Asiatica in it. And it's a very thick and rich cream. And, um, I I've always just used this at night all over my body. It does have a really nice smell of cherry blossoms. So if that's up your alley, I would definitely check this out. And for, for it to be a thick and rich body cream, it is very affordable. I think this one comes in at $22 and I would definitely recommend this as well as repurchase it. All right, so the next one that I have is a body wash and this is by Nest and this is, and this is the grapefruit and verbena body wash. Now this one too has antioxidants in it. It's got natural grapefruit and orange flower oils. It's got pink, pomelo, and verbena in it. And it also says that this is a pH balanced body wash. Um, it's a coconut oil derived cleanser to help cleanse and moisturize the skin. So here's the deal on this one. I like any type of um, body wash or cleanser or whatever it is that I use to cleanse my body to be extremely hydrating and not really feel stripped. This one did an excellent job of, you know, just lathering up, giving you that awesome scent. But after the shower, my skin really did feel tight and it just didn't moisturize. I was thinking that since it had oils in it, that it would do a better job of helping my skin stay moisturized, but I just didn't get that from this one. If you have, if you don't have dry skin um, and you're looking for a body wash to use in the summer and you want it to have, you know, and you want it to be pH balanced and have all of the antioxidants in it, I would definitely say to try this one. But if you have dry skin, um, just, just kind of run away from this one. All right, so the next one that I have is a body jelly. This is an all natural uh, moisturizer by Carol's Daughter. And you know, first I just have to say that Carol's Daughter um, is sometimes a hit or miss with me. I started off really liking this, but I felt as though it just went a little bit rancid fast. I finished it about halfway and I'm really gonna toss this one out. When you look at it upon first glance, it looks like it could be a beeswax, but when you um, press into it, it just kind of breaks up and separates 
separate. I definitely would not repurchase it. If you can buy it from a place um, that will ensure it's gonna stay fresh as long as the, you know, up until the expiration date on it, I would say to try it out. But I also read some reviews online where a lot of people were saying they received their product rancid and it was separated. When I first bought this, it wasn't like that. I really enjoyed it. I just found that it went away too bad. And it's got lots of good oils in it that are good for the body. And to me, it's just basically an oil, you know, that you put on your body. And is it fast absorbing? I didn't really think so. And that could be because I used a lot of it. I just didn't find that it really uh, seeped into the skin um, as quick as some of my other body oils and body butters out there. So this one, overall, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. All right, so next up, I have this Bounce Foundation by Beauty Blender. And if you've watched my channel before a while back, you know, I've used this a lot and I think that it's personally good with the texture that I have. This one is on the thick side. I'm not, I'm not gonna even lie to you all. This one is on the thick side, but what I particularly like about it, because I have texture like hyperpigmentation and texture on my chin, it does a really good job of smoothing that out. The coverage is really good. This little thing really doesn't last that long. You know, I only got, you know, considering the other foundations that I have in my collection, I just didn't get that much of a use out of that or, or that many uh, uses. Am I saying that right? Probably I not. I recommend it. I did repurchase it because if you're a beauty enthusiast out there, you know that on Sephora, even at TJ Maxx, you can get it for like 20 bucks, but I like it and I definitely would recommend it. Um, it, it also has some good ingredients in there that's gonna help with your skin, help smoothing out the texture, all of that. But just know, even though that I'm recommending it and I would, and I bought it again, just know that this one is a thick little foundation. All right, so next up, I have the Bounce Concealer by Beauty Blender. I love this one too. This one is a little bit on the heavier side, you know, a little bit thicker than I would like, but because of the coverage and um, because of the application, some concealers, if you're using them for highlighting purposes, if you immediately go in to blend it out with your sponge, it'll kind of pick up uh, this one you can go ahead and blend it out the coverage stays there and it's just beautiful I am going to probably pick this up again during the Sephora sale um, just note that if you do use these make sure you use a good eye cream or you uh, moisturize your skin really well all right so next up I have a little travel size sample that Suwasu sent me so as you can see it's just a trial size so I really can't speak to how well it works over time I can tell you how it worked for me for the number of times that I've used it and this particular serum claims to be hydrating um, uh, to provide moisture to your skin but this has to be the only serum that I have that when you put it on it, it mattifies your skin. It's really weird. But yeah, this particular serum is super expensive. Um, it does have some good ingredients in it. I, I do like that. Um, and it probably felt dry because of alcohol donate in it as the second ingredient. And kind of close to the top, it has fragrance in it. And it doesn't smell particularly like a fragrant um, serum. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this one. All right, next up I have this NARS Radiant Foundation. As you can see, it's like down here. I've had it for about, I know, probably going on two years and it's time for me to toss this one. Have I enjoyed using it? Yes. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not, only because um, for me, like in comparison to the Bounce, even though this one, um, the texture is probably the same with both of these foundations, I just feel as though this one helps with the small amount of texture that I have versus this one. This one doesn't do anything for that. I mean, it is a radiant foundation. Um, it does have really good coverage and things like that, but it doesn't offer enough for me to want to go repurchase it. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about about lashes and you all know that I love lashes. I buy these over and over and over again. These are the Kiss Lux Extension in the Russian volume. This is empty right here. I actually have these lashes on. You really can't see them because I'm doing the most with the eyes. But what I like about the Kiss Lux Extensions is that they look real. Sometimes when you buy lashes, they look plasticky, they look shiny, and you have to do a lot of tricks to make them look more natural. And I definitely feel as though you get that with these. Will I repurchase them? Yes, over and over and over again. This is like the third 
or fourth pair. It's hard for me to keep up because my daughter gets in my lashes. And but yeah, I love these. All right, and another pair that these are new, but these are the velvet style. The velvet style is really pretty. If you happen to look at the Russian style and you feel as though they're too big, these are a little bit smaller, but they are super pretty and I would purchase them over and over again. All right, so next up I have a fragrance which has taken me like forever to use up, but this is the floral uh, by Gucci fragrance. This has the white top. I got it back when it had the white top and it had a little black bow on it. Um, the black bow is now missing, but I really like the 70 styles geometrical hexagon um, glass bottle. The packaging, it's really cute. So this particular fragrance falls in the fruity category and you know, it has top notes like lemon and mandarin in it. It's really nice. Um, I would say that this is probably a more uh, summer fragrance. I feel as though it lasts a long time on my skin and I always get a lot of compliments on this one. Will I repurchase this? Probably not. I just have a lot of stuff that I need to get through but if you like the fruity type of fun um, gourmand types of fragrances, I think you would probably love this one. All right, so the next one is an eyeliner and this is the LA Girl Line Art Eyeliner. I love this. I even like the packaging of it. It's really cute and sleek. Would I repurchase this? Definitely. I love uh, felt tip liners that dry down matte. Um, I don't particularly like the liners that have the vinyl or the shiny look. I don't like that. Um, that's just a personal preference. That's not to say that that style looks doesn't look good or anything like that. But I love this and I would definitely repurchase it. Alright, so next up I have a moisturizer. This is by Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost Water Gel. It has hyaluronic acid in it. This works really well under um, your makeup. It is oil free, it's fast absorbing, and it really leaves your skin feeling very hydrated and moisturized. Not overly done, um, and I was just really impressed by how fast it absorbs um, into the skin. Would I repurchase this? Definitely. My daughter even likes this, and she's particularly uh, picky with her skincare and her body care, you know, uh, I, I'm not sure where she gets that from. But anyway, both of us like this and this is something that I would definitely repurchase. All right, so next up I have the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. Now, they don't sell this particular one anymore. They have the eye mask with retinol, but it took me forever to use this up and I like this bottle. I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't wanna throw this away because the bottle's so cute. I really Really did enjoy using this. I used to use this at night and it would make my skin feel so good, so soft, so supple. When I woke up in the morning, this helped with firming of the skin, exfoliating the skin, and hydrating the skin. I really do hate that. I don't I can't find it anywhere. I thought I saw it on Amazon. I initially got this from Sephora, but I saw it on Amazon, but it looks it said currently unavailable unavailable but if I can find this I will definitely repurchase this because I've loved loved using this I used this I know for two years you can go back in older videos like Sephora recommendations and favorites like oh you're gonna, you're gonna have to go back like a year and a half ago and this was the business I just don't know why they stopped making it but anyway all right, so I have a Wet n Wild contouring palette and when I buy these, I just use this side right here and I use it to set my under eye and I know you've seen me talk about it over and over and over again, but that's just because I think it's so good. This powder melts into the skin so beautifully. It plays well or it has played well with any and every uh, concealer that I've ever used and for it to be so stinking cheap I think this is like my third or fourth one and you know I just use this side I don't use that side but if you're looking for a really 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 good inexpensive powder to like set you know places that you've highlighted on your face I would definitely say to go with this one. Alright so next up I have all of these concentrated room sprays by Bath and Body Works and you all know that these are the business. They're very concentrated and initially when I first you know started buying these or the first time I bought them I was like this is this is a lot of money for this little little piece but you only need one squirt per room and I like to get them for my room, my kids room, my kids bathroom, my bathroom, living room and the kitchen and dining area. You 
you know how it is one for a little each area but i have the um black cherry marlot which is my favorite and this one has scents of red raspberry marlot you know just all that good stuff i also have what is this champagne toast and this one has a uh, sense of champagne uh berries and juicy tangerine this one is really really nice um i like to just you i'd like to give this particular scent to my son um it's really nice i also have midnight blue citrus and this one has scents of beach grass and orange blossom it's really really nice too a really good scent i like to uh give this scent to my son as well and the lemon cello i like to use this one in the bathroom and the kitchen so these are just great um, I would purchase those over and over again because they're just that good all right so the next one I have is a room spray and this is the free breeze heavy air heavy duty spray so I really did enjoy using this this one um, is really tricky because when you spray it you can't spray it up or you can't like tilt it down it has to be tilted like this because it uses a nit nitrogen propellant and if you have it in at any of those angles it releases excess nit nitrogen um which after that's gone you can't spray it you know that that's pretty much it so that was a little frustrating but now that i know the correct way to use it um, i would definitely use it again also you can't spray this on your uh fabric because it will stain your fabric I did read where some people were you know um, complaining about how it stained their fabric but in the directions uh, that that you're supposed to read before you use it it clearly states do not spray on your fabric because they have you know extra products or that help in that area but I loved it um, it did a really good job of eliminating odor it's just a little tricky to use so yeah now that I've figured that part out I would definitely buy it again all right so next up I have a little sample by Briogeo and I got this when I bought they had like a, a special where you get two of the Briogeo's um, shampoos and conditioner and this came with it along with this little baby but this is the oil treatment and I really enjoyed this one this one um, I believe as though everything it boasts to do um, it actually did it for my hair it made it shiny it made it hydrated um, the only thing is that it's uh, to me you know it's a little pricey only because I'm not used to uh, spending that much money on my hair products <laughs> I will if they work um, but will I purchase this again I would definitely you know because my hair texture is like really really picky everything's not gonna work on my hair it just has to be some kind of special hair care potion uh, in order for my hair to like it but I would definitely repurchase this again and this little sample is the deep conditioning mask I love this too this one works really well does a good job of hydrating the hair and making it soft um, when I use it I do you know put it on my hair sit on the dry for 30 minutes and then go ahead and rinse it it's just it's just a big you know process <laughs> when I do my hair but I would definitely uh, repurchase this and you know I'm just kind of biased towards Briogeo because I've always had a good experience with their products so yeah loved it and I will repurchase it all right next up I have a eye gel by gold Pier. and you all know me I love um eye creams and gels and things like this I've been using this brand of of eye gel for at least three years this one works really well under eye makeup this is another one that plays really well with other skincare products so would I repurchase this I definitely would it's got all kinds of good ingredients in it would I recommend it yes will I repurchase it most definitely okay I think that's it um, I'm hoping that when I edit this this video won't be that long let me know down in the comments if you tried any of the products that I've tried I'd love to hear about it Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.